Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello farmers parents welcome to the GDC channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic relevant to the enzymes which is the theory of the enzymes. Uh, actually these theories are given to predict the structure of the enzyme. So there are basically three theories which are uh, given to assume the structure of the enzyme. The first one is the lock and key model. The second one is the induced fit theory and the next one is the substrate strain theory. The first one theory which is lock and key model it is basically proposed by proposed by Amel Fisher it is proposed by the scientist Amel Fisher and the second one induced fit theory it is basically proposed by the Koshland And the next one substrate strain it is basically the uh, it is basically given according to the both theories according to the final result obtained by these theories so first one which is the lock and key model in this theory it is assumed that the enzyme have a rigid structure in lock and key model it is assumed that enzymes have a rigid structure and in induced fit theory it is assumed that enzyme have a flexible structure and in the substrate strain theory again here it is assumed that enzyme have a flexible structure So in the first one theory which is lock and key model uh, in this uh, theory Amel Fisher scientist said that enzyme is basically pre-shaped. Enzyme is basically pre-shaped and rigid in the structure and it is have, having active sites. Here we can see in this structure also that it is an enzyme which is having active site. These are the active site. So the substrate comes and bind into these active sites. As this theory suggests that enzyme is rigid in its structure. It is a pre-shaped. It is a pre-shaped and rigid in its structure. Substrate comes and bind into the active sites of the enzymes like this so now coming toward the induced fit theory as the name suggests induced in this theory it is assumed that enzyme is flexible in structure that is active sites active sites are not not pre-shaped Actocytes are not pre-shaped. It, it is basically uh, the here basically the induction the induced structure is formed according to the substrate that is interaction on interaction of substrate. on interaction of substrate with enzyme on interaction of substrate with enzyme there is basically conformational changes conformational changes 
in the structure of the enzyme occurs that is in this theory of uh, induced fit it is assumed that active sites are not pre-shaped on interaction with the substrate with enzyme conformational changes occur in the occur in the enzyme structure here we can see that it is the enzyme it is the substrate and on the interaction of the substrate with enzyme there is some changes some induced changes according to the structure of this substrate for the proper binding so now here after the binding es complex formed so it is the induced fit theory now coming towards the substrate strain as the name suggests that is here a strain occurs due to the substrate so in this theory it is assumed that uh, enzyme structure is flexible and substrate is strained substrate substrate is strained due to due to induced conformational due to induced conformational changes in the enzyme in this theory it is said that substrate is strained substrate is strained due to the induced conformational changes in the enzyme that is here we can see that here the enzyme and here the substrate and here substrate is strained according to the strained due to the induced conformational changes in the enzyme so it is all about the three theories which are given for the uh, assumption of the structure of the enzymes Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.